you ever feel overwhelmed by all the things you need to do and sometimes you just want to say I don't feel like doing it I have a productivity system for you there are systems that we can set in our lives so we don't see resistance as a negative thing but we can actually start to be resilient so a few things I'm going to talk about in this video is one meaningful productivity two understanding the difference between busy work and meaningful work three how to prioritize your most important tasks which are known as MITs four the power of focus and how to really hone in on all the things that you need to do five mindfulness and self-care and what that looks like six the art of saying no which I know I need a lot of help in and seven the role of automation and delegation literally the system I use to be productive apps I use and how I go about my routines make sure to stick around until the end but before we dive in let me ask you a very important question have you hit the subscribe button because if you haven't that is something you can check off on your to-do list right now the first thing to consider is meaningful productivity it's really easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle and this hustle culture that we live in many times people strive for productivity at the expense of their well-being or some people allow productivity to define them but we want to go for meaningful productivity why do you have all these things that you need to do why are you doing what you're doing I've been working since I was 16 years old and since then I've had over 20 different jobs I've really never stopped running or kind of sprinting on this treadmill of life the message I tell myself is I don't have have the privilege of being able to stop a lot of my goals and even why I started this channel is actually to try to get my family as far away from the life that they used to live as a daughter of immigrant parents I want to protect my family I want to be able to have enough because people are depending on me and I feel like as I got older that became more and more heavy because when you become a spouse or if we become a parent the to-do list never ends I am a maximalist and I try to make the most of all my time but I have now getting to a place of learning very recently it's okay to find a jogging pace it's okay to not have to try to sprint through a marathon if that means posting three videos instead of four videos a month I'm not going to be hard on myself and it's okay and for you it may be cutting back on certain things and that's okay and I'll get into that a little bit later number two it's crucial to distinguish the difference between being busy and being productive many times we might fill our schedule with a lot of busy work but it may not actually be meaningful to us or we're not being super efficient with our time as a full-time youtuber while also having a full-time job I have to be really mindful of my time and where I want to spend my energy and I don't have time to you know change the settings on my camera I need to go and I film as the moment is happening so as I talk about my YouTube life I do want to share today's sponsor of this video is Nikon I did share that while I was in Japan my vlogging camera actually broke and then it was the most perfect timing where Nikon asked to collaborate with me and so now I have a new vlogging camera. I'm actually using the camera right now. I'm so thankful for the Nikon Z30 because I think it's perfect for people who are looking for consistency, but it's not going to compromise the quality of your footage or your photos. And it also has advanced features if you're looking for that too, but I am definitely an auto person. <laughs> the Nikon Z30 offers a professional 4K image quality. So it has a really sharp and reliable autofocus feature. I'm using it right now and it's able to focus on my face immediately. <laughs> so for photos or for videos, videos when I'm on the go I can trust that the camera is going to be able to track whatever I want it to this camera also has great low light quality so right now in my living room it's not that bright but as you can see it looks great I also cannot use a camera that doesn't have a front swivel so I'm so thankful that this one I am able to see myself in the viewfinder and to be able to kind of see you know what does my shot look like but Nikon's is also touch screen that's helpful too to be able to just kind of like poke at the area that you want to focus on and it can record up to 125 minutes which means right now I can just run this the whole time that I plan on talking and sharing this video and if you want to stream you can also do so and it has the power to keep going with a USB 3.1 connectivity my last camera only let me record up to 30 minutes so that's a huge change for me to be able to keep going for 125 minutes so if you are looking for a new camera and you want something that is going to be quick easy then I suggest the Nikon Z30 
30. So again, I am really big on being practical and just being efficient with the time that we've been given. I do have a lot to do, but I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. Even in my appearance, I really like to just go out and be pretty simple because I don't have the mental capacity to think about like, what my outfit should look like. And that's just me. And I know some people who find so much joy in how they dress and making sure everything matches, but I'm all about just like comfort. And I shared on my story, I, I want to be like a Pinterest girly and I want to look all cute, but then I see my oversized t-shirts and my stretchy pants and I'm like, yes, I choose you every day. So number three, how to prioritize your most important tasks are your MITs. And we're going to use the Eisenhower method. So Eisenhower method is basically this. You create a little cross table. At the very top, you write not important, and important and then not urgent and urgent and you're basically creating like a Punnett square Ugh. seventh grade science class and figure out okay with all the things that you have to do which one is something that you must do right now and go ahead and fill it out right now figure out and you want to fill it with all the things that you have in your to-do list so the first thing you want to do is make a to-do list what are all the things that you are just overwhelmed by whether it's classes or assignments in this month what are all the things that you have to where people are relying on you or you have to do. Now go ahead and categorize them into these four sections. And I want you to be mindful of what's not urgent and not important to you. It's okay to say, I don't need to do that. Number four, the power of focus. There are so many things in our lives that are grabbing for our attention. Some of them are good things, whether you have a child, whether you have a dog, or whether it's your family. But there are some moments where if you really want to hone in and get a lot of work done in a short amount of time you want to minimize your distractions so for me I find that putting my cell phone face down and away from me is very helpful so I'm not reaching for it but I try to be mindful of if I am working that is what I'm focusing on not on my notification I do have my cell phone ringtone always off but my Apple watch will vibrate if I get a phone call because I feel like phone calls are usually emergencies only while text can usually wait I also do not have my social media notification notifications popping up on my phone because that just makes me have more reasons to try to reach for my phone so I turn that off and whenever I feel like checking social media that is when I see whatever notifications I got during that time number five mindfulness and self-care so as someone who really just puts a lot of effort into my work life I have to be mindful to give myself moments of rest too whether that's hanging out with people or I go to a workout class I really prioritize prioritize working out because that is one hour out of my day where I cannot do anything on my laptop and that's okay. This is for me. And now at the end of the day, I've been watching a lot of podcasts, even on YouTube, of my favorite creators and just kind of learning more about, about the YouTube ecosystem. And that has really just been a passively productive way for me to think about all the work I have to do, but in a creative way. I am truly learning the value of slowing down that life is short and I don't want to I don't want to look back and say all I did was work and for what <laughs> Number six, probably one of my favorite points that I felt like got easier as I got older is the art of saying no. Just because you say no does not mean you don't like that person, love that person, or that you don't care about responsibilities. It's knowing your boundaries and knowing that you don't have to do it all. And that's something I have to tell myself. So I don't have to go to every single hangout and I don't need to feel FOMO. I have a certain capacity and as an introvert, I kind of just need to be by myself sometimes and that's okay. But on the flip side, I don't need to always be alone because that's not good for me either. But it's understanding our boundaries and if you know that you're stressed out right now and somebody asks you to do something, you can say, I would love to, but unfortunately I don't have the capacity to do it right now. That might be something you just are not interested in and that's okay. And number seven, this is the real system that I follow when I'm feeling overwhelmed. <sighs> So we're gonna talk about apps and we're gonna talk about just kind of how I how I navigate my life and all the things I have to do. The apps that I use are Apple Notes, Google Calendar, Todoist, and Notion. So let's start off with Apple Notes. On my Apple Notes, I just have 
just word dumps of everything I have to do, whether it's a crazy to-do list of everything I have due this month. And I also make sure to write, I just kind of make lists. I just kind of word dump everything I have in my head. And that also makes sure that I don't let anything fall through the cracks because I've written it down. So that's kind of like while I'm out and about and I'm thinking about like, oh, I have all these things to do and I'm stressed out. I Let me just write it down. And on Google Calendar, my husband and I, we have a linked calendar and we basically just put any events where we have to physically be somewhere. Whether it's a Zoom meeting or whether it's a workout or I'm meeting someone for lunch, I put it in the calendar. So that's when I know I won't be home. Todoist is how my husband and I delegate tasks for each other without having to nag each other and remind each other like, hey, you need to do this. Hey, fold the laundry, fold the laundry, fold the laundry. On Todoist, you can actually make a list and assign when it's due and it'll send reminders and you can see it all in one place and we don't have to nag each other because it's all right there. And on Notion, it's actually where I organize all of my YouTube work. So I feel like categorizing things really helps me. So Notion, I pretty much use mostly for my YouTube work, but of course, if you want to put your personal personal work or your day job and put notes and meetings in there too, you can. But this has just been a way for me to create a system that works for me. So even when I was in school, if you have an assignment due right before your spring break, don't think you have all that time. But I would say try to give yourself at least three days before it's due, just in case anything comes up. And I always like my deadline at least two to three days before the actual deadline. Then I'm not stressed and scrambling. But what's really important is actually sticking to the plan that you said but after you know what you really need to do follow the system that you're going to get this done and write it down so i hope thinking about productivity in this way has helped you in some way and yes i am trying to slow down a little bit and really just be mindful of what is meaningful to me and only putting out work that is meaningful and that glorifies the lord so if you like what you see please like and subscribe and i'll see you later